Let's talk about the next command in the Git and the command is Git Rebase Interactive. And this is a really cool utility offered from a Git. So with the help of Git Rebase Interactive, what you can do, you can uh, merge your multiple commits into a single commit. And the feature which is called it over here is Squash. So using Squash, you can combine multiple commit messages into a single commit message to clean up your Git history. Secondly, you can also reorder or reword one of your commit messages from your git commit history so that is another thing which you can achieve with your git rebase interactive apart from that you can also even uh, drop one of your commit messages which you have done in the past and which you think that it is not relevant anymore and apart from that there is also one more cool feature from a git rebase interactive you can pass on your custom shell command along with your git rebase commit and that will execute that particular command in between your commit messages so that's also you can do along with your git rebase interactive mode so let's take a look on to git squash first and then we are going to take a look on to the remaining options and the flag which we can pass with our git rebase interactive now what is squash and what is the simplest example I can take to explain the git squash. So here you can see onto the screen I have this git commit history. It contains four different messages or four different commit changes which I have done in the past. But for the squash example I would like to only work on these two commit messages which is for feature number six and the feature number five. So with the help of squash, I just want to merge these two messages into a single message. So for example, if I would if I would going to execute this squash, then this is how I'm going to create a new message, which will be a combined commit message, which you can see over here with feature number five and feature number six. So let's jump to the terminal and see how we can run the squash command. To start with the squashing, first of all, we need to identify or take a look onto all the commit history. To do that, I'm going to run the command git log and after that, I'm going to put a flag one line. And here you can see, as I already told you, we are planning to squash the feature number five and feature number six. So these are the two commit hash. And these two commit hashes you can find from here on this particular side on the left hand side. Now, to begin the squash, you also need to know what is the previous commit uh, before these two commit hashes. So if I take a look onto the screen, then these are the two commit hashes which we want to squash. But before that, this is the commit hash which is available. So we just need to know the previous commit hash from where we can just begin the uh, squashing. All right. So now what we need to do, we just need to concentrate on this particular uh, commit hash, which is for feature number three, because after that, I will be able to squash these two commit hashes. All right. So to do that, what we need to do, first of all, let's copy this commit hash of feature three, copy this one and go to your terminal and the command which I'm going to run over here at git rebase and followed by I for interactive and the commit hash and hit enter. And as soon as you will hit the enter, then you will see over here that feature five and feature six uh, commit hash has been picked. And these are the pick flag which you can see available over here. So the rule is very simple. Uh, just identify the previous commit uh, from where you want to do the squashing. So here in my case, the previous commit was feature number three. And after that, I want to squash feature number five and feature number six. OK, now we have identified this part. So let's see how we can squash the commits. To do that, what you need to do, you just need to go into the edit mode of this VI editor. So I'll press I from here. And after that, we just need to pick the commit uh, which we want to squash. So here, let's pick the feature number six over here, which is this one. And now instead of using pick over here, which you see on which I have highlighted over here in the uh, red color box. So instead of pick, we need to use squash. So here uh, in the edit mode, I'm going to reduce this part over here, reduce not remove this particular pick keyword, and then I'm going to use squash. Okay. Instead of squash, you can use a simple S, uh, one single alphabet as well. All right. Now, after that, I'm just going to press escape and then I'm going to press W and Q to save this particular commit. 
and here you can see uh, another uh, editor window has opened so be careful like this is the change which is going to happen now here you need to identify that which commit message uh, you want to modify let's take a look onto this editor window in bit more detail so yes we were targeting the feature number five and feature number six so both the messages are available over here so we need to combine these two messages so again i'm going to go into the edit mode by pressing the i which you can see at the bottom that i'm into the insert mode and uh, after that after i press the i then i will have a ability to move around and make the changes so first of all let's delete this message because we want to combine and make a single change okay and here i am going to make this is a squash commit for feature 5 and feature 6 okay after that i'm gonna press escape and then press w and q and here you can see the message over here successfully rebased and updated which means it has successfully squashed and here you can see the message which you can see uh, which is this is a squash commit for feature number five and six which means you were able to squash uh, those commit messages for feature number five and feature number six okay before I push that particular change, I am still doing those changes and those changes are still onto my laptop because I haven't done the git push yet. So before that, you can see the changes which you can see the feature number five and six. And before that, there was a feature number three and four or already uh, committed in my GitHub history. Okay. Now, after uh, once I'm going to push this change, then these two are going to be uh, removed, not removed, but these are going to disappear. And then it's going to appear only a single message, which is a commit squash message for feature number five and feature number six. Okay. I'm going to close this window and go back to my terminal over here. And here I'm going to clear the screen. And the next command, which I'm going to write over here is git push and followed with the force flag because here we are trying to rewrite the history of our git commit so normal push will not work so we need to use the force flag over here and after that hit enter and here you can see our push has been successful let's get back to our browser and see the history i'm going to refresh the page over here and here you can see now our new squashed single commit message is visible for feature number five and feature number six and rest of the features are still there we have not changed anything onto those features which is you, which you can see feature number three and feature number four so this is how the squash work and i have only squashed the two commits but you can have a multiple commits which you can squash and you can clean your commit history a bit more onto your github repository